Let's keep the train going. We're off to Sockatstee, Carolina Forest in town. Late second quarter, 10-7. Braves on the move. Jordan Hodge hits Buck. Bacot across the middle down to the 10-yard line. A few plays later, Hodge and the Braves looking to cash in before the break. Hodge on the fake, fakes me out, and then hits his receiver, Tyler Cap Carnap at the pylon. 16-7, Sockestee at the break. Third quarter, Panthers inside the Sockestee 20. Diverse Simmons through the Brave defense, flashing some nice running skills and finds pay dirt. That would cut the Sockestee lead to 16-14. Later in the third, Angelo Sauter, he's good. How good is he? Well, how about good enough to find an opening and then finding all kinds of running room? I think I see an all-zoner in the future. With runs like that in the season he's had, he is definitely on the list. I think I see another all-zoner right here. How about Max Joza? Check this out, one-handed. That is money at the two-yard line. Yeah, I think we're gonna see that one a little bit later in the show as well. Hey, he got you down there, give it to him again. Hodge rolls right, it's Joza, tight roping, back of the end zone, touchdown. Sockestee goes on to win again, 30 to 14. Improving to six and one on the season. What about Sauter's numbers? 19 carries, a buck 27 and a touchdown. This one drops the Panthers to two and five on the season. I told you a minute ago, Sockestee at Conway next week. That one is gonna be a fantastic football game, just like it was a couple of weeks ago. South Florence coming down to the beach to take on Carolina Forest. That one should be a good one as well.